Welcome to Discovery Garden Nongkai. My name is Hans Kretschi. As you can see, it is raining. Every day, this wheelbarrow is full. I mean, you can empty it. And you see, I left some dirt in there for making new things. But uh, the weather, the temperatures are nice now. It's beautiful uh, it, 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 to, to be in the house. You don't suffer of heat waves. And that's why we want to cook something that takes a little bit uh, of time. We want to make a meat cake. We will fill a croissant with meat. There will be ham inside and beef and uh, uh, bacon and different spices and it's a wonderful flavor and we will eat with these croissants these filled croissants we will eat a nice butterhead salad you know butterhead salad was not available in thailand when i came here 30 years ago i mean uh, it's it, it needs really the cold of the night to make this nice head but nowadays due to hydroponics we can grow butter head in thailand it's available in almost every big supermarket and we will cook something very delicious and actually easy to make if you want to copy this in in thailand if you sit somewhere in europe you can do it anyhow so let's move to the kitchen we can start now with the filling of our uh, croissant and we will use uh, beef this is about one kilo of beef we have chopped onions and uh, this is our homemade ham uh, we, we cured and smoked it and uh, uh, I just sliced it. This is our homemade bacon. Uh, there are some uh, mushrooms and some garlic. And here you have some uh, uh, spring onions sliced. Uh, you can use chives as well if you like. And always, always a little bit of chili, but be careful with that, with that stuff. It's just very, very spicy. And then we have some other spices to add on. What we will do now is start the uh, stove. We have gas here that's very convenient for uh, uh, working because you get the heat when you need it. I, I wait a little bit and uh, uh, it should be coming now we start pouring it in here it's very nice beef as you can see it's uh, for local production it's a uh, two years pen fat as they claim but uh, it's really tasty I must say and now we wait for the heat to start a little bit and you should be able to uh, do the same thing. You should be able to get all the ingredients. Maybe you have problems with the puffy pastry. Uh, that is sometimes difficult to find in Thailand. But as you can see in the insert, uh, I found three products, two here in Nongkai, the at Macro they have two different uh, pastry, uh, puff pastries, frozen and rolled out already or sliced into uh, uh, squares, and one of the doughs I found in Pattaya at Foodland that is also if you have a Foodland store in your area 
then you should be able to get all kinds of puffy pastry uh, to, to wrap what we are preparing here in. some pepper, white pepper already, it's always good, so then uh, I take a bit of glutamate, monosodium glutamate, I like it if you don't like the stuff or have health problems with that, just don't put it. And then I also add a little bit of chili. This is, uh, has become a habit since I live here in Thailand. Chili is such a wonderful dish, dish uh, spice to give a, a certain level of interest to your throat. And so, okay, the heat is almost now we can add the onions. So we check first. Mix it nicely. A garlic press. This is a practical thing. Wow! To squeeze the garlic and get more surface, and then we can distribute it in what we are cooking. So. So, mix the garlic around. The spices you want to use, this is all up to you. I have some uh, spring onions, mainly for the color, but also for the taste. It's a combination to get this garden green into, into your filling you always eat with your with your uh, eyes as well then I have some dried basil left I can use quite a bit of this it's not very tasty but uh, adds also a bit of color And then, of course, I got also some rosemary, which is a spice I am almost addicted. So, maybe some Maggi. You shouldn't put too much because the, the ham we are just going to pour in relatively salty Mushrooms. These are the canned mushrooms. If you have fresh ones and like to use those, that's, that's all fine. 
so and now we also add some of our homemade bacon you know the fat is always it carries the flavor so we like it quite that dish so okay that looks quite good before we fill our croissants with this we will taste it and add some spices if necessary but the next step you will be seeing is when we try to roll our filled meat filled croissants uh, together with the help of an older lady these are those beautiful hydroponic uh, butterhead salads I was talking you uh, around uh, before and uh, we can wash them later but now we can prepare the salad sauce and uh, what I use is a little bit of mustard not too much, not too much, not too little then I have this mayonnaise, you can use any mayonnaise, but that's my favorite. That was quite impolite, huh, this. <laughs> okay, okay, and then we use the salad the herbs. I, I brought from Switzerland, but you can use all kinds of dried herbs as a condiment. I add some pepper yeah okay and some of that stuff if you like or if you don't like you just don't you are free people all over the world and I love this Maggie so now I add some vinegar this is also available here in the stores. It's an apple vinegar. It's quite okay, tasty okay, tastes okay. Not too much vinegar. In my uh, opinion, most people take too much vinegar in their salads. And it, it just kills the taste. Now we nicely mix this. Add a little bit of oil, just any oil, this is not uh, an expensive oil, so that should do. And the secret between this butterhead salad are the eggs we put in. You see we have some egg yolks. I make now a salad for two persons, so one egg yolk per person is just uh, uh, about right and this is going to turn this in something very special easy to, to uh, squash the egg yolk like this it's a nice color already and I can tell you that the taste is just marvelous. Now we add a little bit of, uh, of egg white, the cut egg white, boiled, also all boiled. Then we add some onions. might not like onions then you just what you don't like you leave away that is uh, very clear now we have some more garlic to put in as well okay that should do
Okay, that's it. We are going to wash the salad, fill our croissants, bake them, and then we are ready to eat. Sabadi Kap She is a terrific cook and she is the mother of our good friend Jut, who has this highly successful channel, a channel on YouTube about Thai cooking. And we are going to cook together our meat cakes. Now you have here one big uh, uh, dough that we are going to cut in four pieces. So, and what we are going to do is now, uh, and we have another uh, dough over here that has been pre-cut, so we cannot decide about the size. But here we are free, and come do noi gon sai sai nia ni amam nia ni la go ik noi so a little bit more, and then we are going to form. I show you now a croissant. And we turn it. We can use the fingers. This is no problem because it will be baked later on. Oh ho! The it didn't cut through 100%. So just keep the filling in a little bit. So and turn it around and around. Aha! Uh -huh, there's something falling out. We just put it back in. It's no problem. Here the same. So, to Nina and May, and then we just close it like this, and we have produced our first meat cake that is sticking a little bit, and then we put it over here on the baking. Uh, paper and last but not least we have to give it a brush so I might go mm tom okay it was okay. It was a long, long time. Okay. Ow, 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 new, I know. Yeah, long, long time ago. Yeah, long, long ago. Yeah, no, no, it's a bit different. It's say, say, new, new, new. New, one. Like a parallel. I guess we can put a little bit more. Say, say, eagle, no. Now go march out. Gang, gang, gang. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, mommy, mommy, panha. Wow, the first meat poisson I could make. Wow, so I mark, do I, huh? La go sai ni la go song song ta si boy ta si ko ne bali da ta si a han yang seap nua le pi noi na ta ko ne seap nua wow this is it's not so difficult ha a loi e au e e nung dai mai dai okay mai mai ki kia ta so, say, say, me. Okay. Okay, in each minute. You see that the feeling has been cooled down now and is easy to work with. We can use the fingers because we are going to sterilize it in the oven. Wow, 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 wow.
Excellent, excellent. And pop some more. Yeah, yeah, this is this will be delicious. The good woman has a good taste, and I am quite sure she will love it. Now we do all the rest, and uh, see you later again when you when we have processed all these uh, meat cakes. Okay, we are back to the table, and everything seems to be ready it looks quite good uh, uh, let's go and try Kun Kunyut came uh, our good friend uh, probably he could smell that something good is uh, cooking here and he joined his lovely mother and now we are going first mix the salad you know this is the the famous butterhead salad this is my favorite from when I was a child I was growing this already in Switzerland and now it's available here in Thailand I had it brought before from people uh, uh, in, in the old days uh, I mean it was a bit ridiculous at the, at the customs they looked uh, 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 what, 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 what an idiot he brings salad, butterhead salad mm. so I no? oh, so so look, so look at these nice little uh, leaves and okay uh, Conmay, help yourself. Here is a napkin. We do this very informal. How how do I cut cut me? Cut, na na. Yeah yeah. Chop chop. Chop chop lani na. Or chop chop lani. Okay, a big one, of course, of course. We don't expect anything else. I do it like this. Chokdi, 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 chokdi. Da da da, hold. Oh man. Mmm. Really good. Chop knife. Pin digwa pin din knife. Da da da. Oh oh oh. Mmm. It's better than eating dirt. Sorry. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Sad is about the highest you can get in his arm. In the salad, did we try the salad as well? Sai Thai, yeah, no? A lot of eggs, you can really taste the eggs. Hmm? That gives a really special note. So, if you liked what you saw, then please subscribe to the Hans Ritchie channel on YouTube or Hans Ritchie Friends on Facebook and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.